All right, so everything is still good. So uh, here we are. Um, so the first part is, this is going to be a, a live coding demo here for everybody. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show just how quickly and easy it is just to simply get to the device. So I'm going to do a uh, new FTT project here. And let's just call it Simple Android. All right, I'm going to choose Mobile, AS3, and I'm going to skip these additional options. We'll go back and talk about what these options mean later on. But again, I'm just showing the straight to device, how we can get an instant feedback. Okay, I'll finish. Our project is created. And I'm actually going to, let's go ahead and write a little bit of code here. I'm going to, just so we can actually see see something gone here, both on the desktop, but actually on the device as well. Let's not say, let's do, let's add, uh, let's add an event listener. All right. All right, so here we go. I just made a very simple application here, and all we're going to do is that on every enter frame, we're just going to build some random circles and uh, pop them on the stage. So I would always suggest the first thing to do is when you're ready to, when you're curious about testing on a device, is to actually test it out using the Adobe Debug Launcher. And I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is that I'm just going to click on my main file here, right here, and then let's just stick with Run As. And then you see here I have the option for mobile application. So what pops up here is this run configuration window. And it's already got the uh, presets all available for me. You can see Google Android. I got my mobile preset for Droid. Actually, let's go ahead and choose, uh, let's choose an Nexus 1. Apply. And I'm going to run this guy. So this is what my application is doing. Very basic, simple. We're adding circles on the screen. So now I want to see how it is on my device. Now, you guys have to take my word for it here, but I've just plugged in my Android phone, and I haven't done anything special other than set the mobile device to debug mode, which is it's a little bit beyond the scope, but it's usually just in the settings, and you go to um, applications, and then you manage, and you say enable USB debugging. And I've plugged into my computer here. So now, all I have to do here to test it on my device here, I'll just go to run as mobile device. Actually, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go to my run configurations here. And so this is the guy before, remember before we were doing the um, ADL. This time I'm going to simply choose on device. Apply and run. And as we read the console here, you'll see a bunch of debug information coming up. And you'll see that you can actually see what FTT is doing right now. A lot of stuff you can generally ignore, but we've made it really transparent about what's going on here. And so you can see it's actually launched successful. So it's actually running on my device right now. I don't have a camera here to show you, so you have to take my word for it. However, you actually just saw that it actually handled everything for us. So it handled the packaging. It, it generated some, some dummy keys for us. It actually uninstalled any previously uh, installed applications that have the same ID. I'll get back into that um, on the next part here. Uninstall successful, and then it reinstalls this application, and then launches it. So it's that easy. Like that's, that's the first part there of how easy it is just to simply build an application and have it run on your, on your Android device as quick as possible.